When I was like, I don't know, 12, 13 years old, I wanted to study sharks, but I figured by the time I got old enough to do it, it'd all be done. How naive was I, right? <laughs> When you turn on television and see white sharks doing incredible things, typically it's filmed in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. And scientists for decades have been studying this species in those areas. And so the white shark in the Atlantic has always lagged behind in terms of what we knew about its biology, its natural history, its ecology. We didn't have any of those hotspots. Starting in 2004, things were changing. There were nine shark sightings on the Cape today, all the way from Provincetown to Monomoy Island. Somebody spotted a shark attacking a seal here off Nosset Beach in Orleans. State marine biologist Dr. Greg Skomol says researchers are watching the activity closely. Sharks now are coming back to this area, right in our backyard. And so if you can find the species you're trying to study, you can study it. This whole area is very dynamic from a geological point of view. You've got this teardrop of land that comes off called Monomoy. We're just going south along that right now. We go out twice a week from mid-June through October. We're interested in how big is the white shark population on the east coast of the United States, seeing what they're doing around Cape Cod, and then see where they're going when they leave Cape Cod. So we use a couple different technologies to get a comprehensive sense of how the shark is living. The acoustic technology is a tag that emits a very high frequency ping. And that ping is picked up by receiver systems that we've placed all around Massachusetts. So we're going to check one of the acoustic receivers to see who's been here since it was put out. It was put out June 1st, so we will see who, uh, who's around. What's nice about acoustic tags is they give you a really nice look at long-term local behavior. So I could track individuals over long periods of time. You know? So I might have a shark named James, for example. James might come back every year. Still under I've initiated communication with the receiver, which is right here. And the receiver now is communicating through Bluetooth with the laptop computer. Who's 17822? 17822 is Ashley Grace. 23538. Scratchy. Scratchy yeah. yeah, so Scratchy was here. James. Wow, okay. We've identified over 280 individual white sharks over the last few years. They're coming here because they're attracted to the robust seal resource that we've got. The seals are coming back after being driven to the brink of extinction, and the sharks will take advantage of that. All right, guys, we're gonna run because the spotter pilot has seen a shark. I've been tagging sharks for 30 years. Every time I do it, it's almost equally as exhilarating. You need the plane to communicate well with the captain on the vessel. The captain needs to be able to see that shark so he can steer the boat close enough to the shark that the shark doesn't get spooked by the boat. It's a fine balance there. When we mark them, we are tagging them in some cases, but we're also just videotaping them. And the technique we use is a traditional approach called mark recapture. I call it video fingerprinting. It's right there. White sharks, unlike many, many species of fish, are very unique looking. We can tell individual sharks apart. They have color patterns, particularly where the gray top side meets the white underside. Look at that. He just shot off. That's a little one. This one's about eight. And based on the marked individuals, you can estimate the size of the total population. So the technology is going to just improve our ability to conserve the species, too. Is there need to do additional protection for the white shark, or is the population stable? Is it increasing? That's important to know. Turning hard. Now he's following your wake. There he is. He's down. The more people know about these animals, the more likely they are to revere them as opposed to fear them. You know, it's an animal that is arguably one of the most charismatic on Earth. And the more we're learning about sharks, the more we realize that they're an integral part of the marine ecosystem. So 
let's not mess it up. Let's keep sharks in the water.